Welcome 2021. However, stipulation, I am recording this in 2020 because I received this product and I want to open it. So I'm going to. So we're going to see if we can profit off of a Champion's Path Elite Trainer Box. So Champion's Path is um, a, a fairly sought after set in the Pokemon TCG world. Uh, retail was initially at one point it was only about 40 50 pounds so for well, 45 50 pounds due to stock and there being none uh, the prices quickly rised and they went absolutely mad but there is obviously a charizard in this set which means for some reason it just went absolutely bananas so cards in this set that we are looking for and um, personally i'd be quite happy with a venus or v uh pretty much any of the v-maxes are a half decent i'm still looking for that charizard v card which i would absolutely love to pull is there anything else oh let's go back and we can actually see the cards in a set it's a secret rare you want to look at so the charizard secret rare v-max i have already pulled myself uh, which i think was on the first or second attempt so in an etb you have some packaging amongst other things so these are actually fantastic for storage for those of you who didn't know storing pokemon cards and other things brilliant but what else do we get so we have some card dividers with the charizard vmax on the side energy cards shout out to ricky lee he is the energy master we also have a charizard v card now when this set first came out these were selling for between 30 and 40 pounds a piece so obviously if you got the ETB at retail price, you are quids in. There's also a code card, free for your faces. Some sleeves containing the Charizard VMAX from the set. Rule book, no one cares. Die, damage counters. No, they are poison and effect counters, not, there's poison and burn, I think, not actual damage counters. Okay, so we have Champion's Path to open. I've not done Champion's Path in a while. Now, I believe it is four to the front for the card trick. And I don't know if the white code cards actually mean anything. Can't remember. No, it's not a subset, is it? I'm fairly sure there is um, booster boxes for this. So we have a Grass Energy, Rotom Bone, Malamar, Turfield Stadium, Pokeball, Sizzlepede, Galarian Zigzagoon, Scraggy, Rock Ruff, Inkay, and we have a Gardevoir VMAX Secret Rare! Jesus Christ! That is one hell of a card to start off on. Oh, oh. oh that is pretty damn clean. That is looking mighty fine. So when we pulled the Charizard VMAX, we pulled that on the last pack. And we've pulled a Gardevoir VMAX Secret Rare on the first pack of this one. I'm trying to pull out... Oh, I see. I made a mistake. I put some team bags in there. That was for some stuff I sent to, over to Brandon Salt over at Break the Seal, who opened up an amazingly rare pack of playing cards definitely worth checking out okay well the chances are it's all downhill from here unless we've got an ungodly elite trainer box um then i don't know time will tell i suppose so we have a steel energy a capu team yell grunt bede vulpix machop roly coley Kavana, Potion, the reverse of Sonya, and we have a Marni regular holofoil card. Not quite what we were after, but still, that's not bad. Two two packs, we've got one holofoil, and we have one secret rare, rainbow secret rare as well. Another white coat? No. One, two, three, four to the front. We have a Water Energy, Hatram, Milo, Great Ball, Machop, Ekins, Swablu, Inkay, 
Hatina, Trubbish, and we have... I always say Centre Scorch. I thought, I thought for a moment that might have been a Charizard, but the only Charizards in this set are Full Arts. So that's not going to happen. Although there is a Charizard in Vivid Voltage. Which I think the the reverse is, is selling for a pretty penny at the moment. Okay, so we have a, a Darkness Energy. Suspicious Food Tin. I would be suspicious if it was going like that as well. Pokemon Centre Lady. Victini. Pokeball. Weedle. Kakuna. Kavana. Potion. Swabbly Reverse. And we have a Galarian Obstagoon. Have we not had one dud yet? We've not got one regular rare. What the hell is going on? That Gardevoir VMAX is just... Another white coat. What? One, two, three, four to the front. I don't understand what's going on. We have a Grass Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Hop, Beedrill, Roly Coley, Trubbish, Potion, Galarian Lanoon, Nickit, Center Scorch Reverse, and we have a Machamp. Oh, that's an awesome artwork. I do like that. Okay, that's. Is there 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're halfway through. And we've pulled a holofoil or better in every single pack so far. Is our luck about to end? No, because that's another white code card. Jesus Christ. We have a Lightning Energy, Rotom Bike, Hyper Potion, Sharpedo, Potion, Full Heal, Roly Coley, Machop, Sizzlepeed, Machoke, and we have a Venusaur V. I'm happy with that. I, I'm very happy with that. Venusaur doesn't get much attention in the newer sets. He really, really doesn't. So to have that join the party, I'm very, very happy. Another white code card. One, two, three, four. So we have a Fighting Energy to start, Hyper Potion, Lipard, Suspicious Food Tin, Swablu, Scraggy, Kivana, Galarian Zigzagoon, Kakuna, Suspicious Food Tin Reverse, and a Lycan Rock, Holofoil Rare. We've got three packs remaining. You know what? I am happy with what's happened so far. One, two, three, four to the front. We have a Steel Energy, Machoke, Kaboo, Absol, Weedle, Purloin, Pokeball, Inke, Galarian Zigzagoon, Fire Energy Reverse. It's nice to pull a Reverse Energy. And we have an Incineroar to go with it as well. Incineroar V. That fire energy is absolutely gorgeous. Now, the best thing, and also the worst thing with reverse energies, is there's so much holofoil. But how awesome would that look in a Gem Mint 10? I can't see, I can see one small defect on the top right. Apart from that, left to right seems to be acceptable. On the back, oh, that's a nice big nick down there. So that's not going to happen. That's a real shame. Apart from that, it is an absolutely stunning card. We've only got two packs left. So, we might as well get them over and done with. There's no point in just keeping them there. One, two, three, four to the front. We have a Water Energy, Lipard, Bede, Piers, oh, Vulpix, Galarian Linoon, Full Heal, Purloin, Kakuna, a Hop Reverse, and we have an Alteria Holofoil Rare. Okay, we, we're relying on one last pull. Just one more. That's all we want. Last pack magic. Come on, we've got this. One, two, three, four to the front. 
Uh, I'm going to guess Psychic. Hmm. Shouldn't have guessed. Pokemon Center Lady. Hop. Victini. Oh, Swablu tried to escape. Swablu. Vulpix. Trubbish. Roly Coley. Galarian Zigzagoon. A Marnie Reverse. And we are ending on a Galarian Obstagoon Holofoil Rare. So, did we profit? That is the question. Give me two minutes and we'll soon find out. Okay, did some very important Googling on eBay. And I've realised I completely, in my head, mixed up Darkness Ablaze with Champion's Path. Obviously, Champion's Path was a subset, so it wasn't available in booster boxes. Made a massive mistake, so no doubt I'm going to get ribbed for that in the comment section. So, did we make any profit? Gardevoir, VMAX, uh, there is one for sale on eBay at the moment for $25.65. There's also one for sale for $22.95. So give or take, we'll say it's worth about £20 or so. The Venusaur V is worth about £4. The Fire Energy is worth about a quid. And the Incineroar V is worth about a quid as well. And I've just realised the one thing I didn't check was the Charizard V. So I'll just check that. Charizard V. That is going for approximately 20 to £25. So we'll say 20 so we've got 20 here, plus 20, plus 4, 1 and 1. Yeah, we obviously didn't make any profit, but we are not including the bulk in that particular uh, estimation of what this box was actually worth pulling. But I thought we'd try a new approach for 2021. Tune in next week, but we'll be doing an ETB of Vivid Voltage.